A seven-time national team member, two-time All-American in the NCAA, reigning Canadian champion in the 1500 meter, and a semi-finalist at this past summer's World Track and Field Championships, Kate Van Buskirk's running career has steadily been progressing and she is showing no signs of stopping. So my name is Kate Van Buskirk and I'm 26. I was born in Brampton, Ontario and I now call Toronto home. I think my first race was actually in grade four in elementary school and I remember it was track and field day and I beat all the boys and all the grade fours and fives um, and I got a little red ribbon and that was a pretty proud day. Kate's first sport of passion was soccer and it wasn't until grade six that Kate joined her first track and field club and then later in grade 10 that she moved running to the top of her priority list. There are choices that need to be made in order to prioritize um, that one thing you're going after. And I devoted a lot more of my time to running. And the following year, I qualified for my first ever national team, the World Cross Country Championships. So I think that year between grade 10 and 11, I had a bit of a breakthrough athletically and decided that this was something I really wanted to focus on. Kate received scholarships to Duke University in North Carolina, where she ran in the NCAA and was team captain in her senior year. So my decision to attend the NCAA was based um, greatly on the fact that I knew that there would be opportunities avail available to me in the NCAA that wouldn't necessarily be available in the Canadian system. So I was really fortunate to receive um, an athletic scholarship to Duke University in North Carolina. Going from collegiate to post-collegiate, similarly, my experiences at Duke prepared me incredibly well for my post-collegiate running experience. Going to the World Championships this summer in Moscow, I got on that start line feeling like I, it wasn't the first time I was experiencing those race nerves, or it wasn't the first time I was racing on TV in front of a huge crowd. As a distance runner, Kate is competing for a lot of the year. Her competition schedule requires her to maintain a very high level of fitness. During her base phase of training, Kate runs anywhere from 110 to 120 kilometers a week. Closer to race season, Kate drops down her mileage to just under 100 kilometers a week. So a, a typical training week looks like two workouts a week, um, and those are focused speed sessions uh, with my teammates and my coaches at the track. Um, we do about a 5K warm-up. We go through a whole series of strides and drills and um, warm-up activities, and then we do um, different length intervals on the track. During the winter, Kate heads down south so she can maintain her high mileage and train in warmer climate. Every athlete is really kind of left to set up training camps the way that it makes sense for them or within their club. Um, typically, my club will go to Florida, Claremont, Florida, for anywhere from you know three to eight weeks of the winter months when it's really cold here and hard to train in Canada. And I actually just got back from Phoenix, Arizona. Athletics Canada, which is our governing body of sport, put on a training camp for all carded athletes, um, where, again, it gives you an opportunity to escape the cold, take advantage of some warm weather. The IAFF sets A and B standards for international meets. In Canada, if you have never competed at an Olympic or World Championship, you can make the team and qualify on a B standard. When I qualified for Moscow this summer for the World Championships, the B standard was 409.0, and the A standard was 405.5. Um, so what that meant is that I needed to achieve at least a B standard of 409, um, and then I also needed to come top three at the national championships and be the highest placing athlete with a B standard. Moving forward, for Kate to qualify for any international team, she'll have to run the A standard. Kate has her sights on Rio 2016, but knows that there are many milestones along the way. I want to be a finalist at the Commonwealth Games, I want to be a medalist at Pan Ams, and beyond that I want to get on a plane to Rio and bring home a medal for Canada. And I'm grateful every day that I have the opportunity to do everything I do in this sport. I'm so grateful for the people around me, my parents, my teammates, my boyfriend, my coaches, all of the great support we have. I just feel so blessed to be able to pursue what I love every single day.